Hi, Dhanjit. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah, tell me something about yourself. Uh, hello, ma'am. My name is Dhanjit Karita, and I am based at Guwahati. And I have done my graduation from Gizanda Institute of Management Technology. And you, if you talk about my uh, main domain, it's in CSC, Computer Science Engineering. And if you to, uh, talk about my internships and summer training, I have done my summer training at um, Android Studio, uh, which is in building an application. And I have carried forward for the last semi uh, semester final uh, project as well. Okay, so Tanjit, you please tell me what are the projects you have done in your whole week? Means any mini project, and your final project? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, if you talk about the mini project, I have done uh, a project of a uh, hospital management system, which was a, a simple website and the database which I have been using there was a SQL. And if you talk about my the final year project, I have built the whole entire, it was an e-commerce platform actually. So, uh, so I have uh, built a Android uh, application. It was an e-commerce platform, uh, and the main ideology was that it was a crude app. Actually, means all the admin, buyer, and the seller all together can use in a single app. So it was a crude app. And if you talk about the backend database, I have been using uh, the uh, Firebase which was totally free and it was very, uh, you can talk about like access was very easy for mine uh, so that get the OTPs regarding all the stuffs which I required it. So I choose uh, Firebase over AWS service. Okay. So what are the main motive of your project? Means the future scope of your project? Actually, the time when I built my project, it was like the time of the COVID-19. Right. Okay. So at the time, uh, at the time, many of the shops like they were shut down and they was like in a bad condition. So I planned like to improve their economic growth. So I uh, built uh, it was a local app actually. So to increase the economic growth, I built that app application. What was your major role in that project? If you talk about the major role, I played a role in the backend. The uh, if you talk about the backend means the plugins actually. All if you talk about the uh, Firebase, the plugins are the important parts because if you need to connect all the Firebase and I build the application in the Android Studio, right? So in the Android Studio, it was like all the stuff it need to be done in the like language should be in Java. It was the two languages, Kotlin, either Kotlin or Java. So we have built the application entirely in the Java and uh, the database, which I have talk, uh, told you earlier, it was in Firebase. So my major role was to co connect between the uh, front end and the back end. That was the, my major role. Okay. So what are the language that you are comfortable in technical means in programming and all? Okay, okay. Ma so if you talk about the uh, languages, I'm comfortable in Python. Java, as I have told you, my major project was in Java. So these two uh, languages you can say I'm comfortable with. Okay, and what are the subjects that you have read? Means, uh, I mean, uh, there are a lot of subjects we have read in, you know, in our technical uh, career. Yes, but what are your favorite subject or the subject that you remembered now also very nicely? <laughs> Actually, what uh, if I talk about the subject, it was DBMS because my work was like to connect the front end, the back end. So the favorite part was my, uh, you can say what database management system, DBMS. Okay. So you told me that you are uh, mostly familiar with Java and Python. So can you tell me the main basic difference between Java and Python? Okay, ma'am, if you talk about the Java and Python, look, ma'am, yeah, in Java, like the object-oriented programming, right? But yeah. in the uh, in, in Python, what it used to do, it was more simpler than the Java part, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like in addition of the uh, two sum, simply we can write like print A plus B and we can get yeah. the answer, right? So it was yes. very simple and like it was more efficient, you can say. Yeah, so uh, when we talk about, you know, the uh, process slower and faster, what do you think? Which one is better? Or which one you will choose in programming or in doing projects and all Java or Python? And can you tell me why you will choose that particular language? Actually, if I, uh, I won't judge that Python is more better or Java is more better. 
but it's everyone's choice right so uh, the entire project which i have built was like in java i have never mm. touched in kotlin so if mm. you personally ask me there will be lots of opinion but in my opinion i would choose java is more uh, like i'm more comfortable according to me but in case of faster like uh, as i have said python is more faster and more efficient you can say okay yeah so yes now tell me what do you mean by dbms database management system okay ma'am so in dbms actually it is a database management system where we mm -hmm. can all the data's informations we can store there like okay. there are in database management system we can talk about like one is dynamic on one is mm -hmm. static right mm -hmm. so in the static part what uh, according to the project i would like to refer yeah yeah uh, like yeah. okay so there was the two uh, database management system one is sql and one is firebase so in sql what used to happen like everything was the predefined right so uh, it was the local uh, local database where we used to store the some of the informations images where in a loading of the application you used to load previously like you can uh, talk about the splash screen like yeah. in youtube also we used to have mm -hmm. like in our application also i used to add up the splash screen so sql was the uh, static one and if you talk about the dynamic one i have used like firebase so it used to like real time data so whatever the customer used to fetch the seller used to get the data or the admin used to get the data so database management system is nothing like a, it gathers the informations uh, in a disk you can say store somewhere some kind of information okay. okay i got it so have you heard the term normalization in dbms Yes, ma'am. Normalization. I have here in DBMS. Actually, if you talk about normalization, actually normalization is like we used to uh, like. I would like to refer one example. Yeah, like yes, yeah. in a company, there might be a lots and lots of like employees, right? Mm -hmm. So in that employees, it would be difficult for to search the employee name or there will be like Raju. There are lots and lots of names like be Raju mm -hmm. or the great pay scale. There will be different pay scale. so to minimize those thing it's a schema which can be modified and uh, like uh, redundancy and dependency of data in a organized manner yeah. we can get all the informations yes yes that means organizing the data right yes okay. so yes. have you ha yeah you mentioned something like schema so can you please give a brief uh, you know introduction about what is schema okay so as i have mentioned you the schema schema is nothing like a pointer it's a information uh, according to me it's a information get uh, of the collection of some kind of datas where we used to can uh, like modify we used can delete in like uh, in sql okay so can you tell me the full form of sql uh standard query language is it i think it's structured Very oh like yes, structure okay. coil. Ah, uh, no worries. So, do you know what are pointers in C? Pointers. Ah, uh, if you talk about the pointers, ah, uh, yes, pointers. So, pointers. If you talk about an array, right? If you take any variable or the address, like pointer is to do like ah, uh, it used to ah, uh, like it used to take the variable and takes the ah uh, variable. address yes yes the it stores the address of a variable of an mm. another variable yes yes okay so can you tell me the four pillars of object oriented programming language oops i think you have uh, learned oops in your btech mm hmm hmm so i have can you tell me the yeah four important pillars of oops okay so if you talk about the four pillars one is and uh, uh, abstraction next is inheritance next is polymorphism and uh, and uh, last one was uh, actually i forgot encapsulation yes encapsulation yeah, yeah. encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism okay. yes please. so now dhanjit i would like you to share your screen uh, because mm -hmm. yeah i will ask you to write some coding programs okay if some program okay. just uh, logic is required no need to write the whole program in starting so any language according to your comfortability you can choose you can do in any language okay so mm -hmm. can you please uh, write the main logic for swapping two numbers 
it's up to you okay. you can uh, mean swap two numbers using the third variable or without it's uh, nothing mandatory it's up to you mm -hmm. just i want to see the main logic of swapping two numbers so can you please okay. share okay. your screen okay yes. definitely okay. uh can i share my whiteboard yeah sure you can share okay okay uh can you just uh, tell me is it visible yeah it's visible okay 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 fine uh so with uh text I think it's visible, right? Yeah, it's visible. You can go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we can take any variable like a b c d yeah right? yeah yeah it's up okay. to you okay 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 fine oh uh, I think this will work. Yeah, I have taken one will. integer value temp and okay. this is the whole program. Uh, I have swept actually, I have taken the variable temp A and B and I have exchanged the value with uh, the value of A and the temp. Okay. That's the swapping of the two numbers. Yes, uh, good. Okay, now can you uh, write the main logic for factorial of a number? Uh, factorial of a number. Okay. Yes. So Can you please uh, tell me means uh, what is the main concept behind factorial of a number? <laughs> okay. So if you uh, talk about the factorial of a number, like um, the main logic actually, the factorial of a number. Okay. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, okay. <laughs> take a number five. So what will be the factorial of that number five? How to find <laughs> that? Do you know? How we actually, find I've... out the... Actually, I forgot. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So yes, uh, Dhanjit, uh, you can stop sharing your screen now. Okay, okay. Okay, Dhanjit. So do you have any idea about joints? Have you studied joints in SQL? <laughs> joints, I have studied. Joints, I have studied. Okay. So what are joints? What is the main concept of joints? Uh, if you talk about the joints, like uh, there are different joints in DBMS. Actually, it was a uh, topic of a DBMS. Yeah. So yeah. there are lab joints and like um, there are lab joints. Then there are different types of joints. Actually, I could not recall uh, much. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, can you tell me what joints do actually? Why we use joints? Uh, joints. Actually, uh, I think the joints is used for like for the creating or the joints is basically deleting. used for yeah connection uh, connecting two or more tables okay you can connect tables okay. because so, uh, okay. suppose employee table is there and salary table is there so when you will mm -hmm. have to join employee and when you are asked to you know join these two tables you can use using join any joints you can use inner join left join okay mm -hmm. so these are all about join so no worries now so okay then so can you tell me what are the modifiers in java different modifiers we used in java mm -hmm. yes ma'am i can tell the different uh, modifiers if you talk about there are public then was a private and protected these are the main modifiers you can talk about in java so can you tell me what kind of a language is java is it a compiled or interpreted language uh if you talk about it's a in java is i think it's a compiled compiled yeah. programming language okay so okay so now uh, can you give me a basic difference of c plus plus and java only one difference also we do what is the main difference of C++ and Java? Hmm. If you talk about the main difference of C++ and Java, I think uh, inheritance. Yeah. 
polymorphism those okay. are the difference yes yes these are the difference okay so apart from academics what other qualities do you have uh if you talk about like uh other qualities like i'm good at managing people like uh, managing a team or a group recently i have participated in many as hackathons like in bangalore hackathon which is known to be a skill and job i have participated there and i have uh, came in like top 20 and in assam uh, notice hackathon also i have been participated uh, and those type of hackathons i usually participate okay that's very nice so what are your basic strengths now it means your main strength and weakness also okay okay so if you talk at like uh, my strengths like strengths are like uh, like uh, very often i used to get uh, friendly with anyone you can talk about like it's my strength or like i used to remember like if someone used to taught me something i used to recall and i used to remember those things you can talk as like my strength okay. and if you talk about my like weakness like my weakness is like uh, now, if you talk about my weakness, weakness is like uh, I used to spend, like uh, I used to watch most of the movies and I used to spend times. So you can talk about like, it's my weakness <laughs> or like. Now, what are the, you know, qualities you have for which you should be hired in an IT sector? Okay. So as I have to uh, told you that uh, if you talk about like uh, hiring me, like, I can be the best employee. Like I have told you that I can use to remember and recall the things like, right? so uh, if the things uh, like I'm a fresher right now. So uh, the basic things, if you like, if you talk, uh, teach me or if I get into the system, so I can be assure you that I can be the best employee and I can uh, like, uh, uh, I can be more productive than any other employee in your company. Okay, that's nice. So if you are asked to sign a bond with a particular company, say TCS, Infosys, and mm -hmm. so then what will be your, you know, decision? Are you willing to join a bond with the company? Yes, ma'am. a bond will... for one year or two years? Definitely, ma'am, I would like to sign the bond because I think that I have chooses my, I have my, made a mindset of like a choosing a domain. So there is nothing like to like worry about the bond sign, according to me. So do you have any question to ask me? Uh, question, if you talk about the questions, ma'am, uh, how is the system or the, how is the environment of the company? Can you elaborate? Of the IT sectors. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. So IT sector is basically, you know, I would say it's the perfect place for one to learn as and also to grow at the same time because here okay. the main thing is the working hours as I, as far i know it's it's really very flexible the support mm -hmm. and the working culture the environment is very nice to work you know and environment matters the most when you are a part of a particular organization and i think this is the best thing of an it sector so okay. and yeah the projects the projects matter the most and the pro means the team you will means after you get selected you will find that the training is very means the training goes on very smoothly they take you know they give very much importance to the training okay you will you will be taught each and everything very nicely and there's nothing like you will be pressured it's yeah there is something like you'll have to complete your task in a given time but it's nothing like you will be getting some hectics or like that it's the life becomes you know, very wonderful if you give your 100% efforts. And it's a place where you can learn as much you want and as much you want to grow also. So, yes. So, I think it's a very wonderful journey if you start your career with the IT sector. So, that's all. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much, Tandi. Okay, We have come thank to you. the end of an interview. Yes, and I wish you all the best for your future. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.